a show. I was gonna say, your practice today is just yep. two laps. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and so it's kind of, and that's a little nerve wracking because you want to go out and do something cool for the fans and everything. Sure. But being a rookie, you kind of have to drive in your limit. You know, I can't just go out there and start, <laughs> like, you know, trying to do something that I'm just not ready to do yet. Yeah. And um, start hitting walls and stuff. So. Um, I mean, you could. It just probably wouldn't be a very long <laughs> I career. I might not have a job after. Right. It, yes. Right. Um, but so you know, it's it's good. You just sort of learn, you know, the things that, even though sometimes I will go out and. Sometimes I'll just mess up and it'll be yeah. a really terrible hit. That's just kind of part of learning and you feel it. You feel like, oh man, that was like really embarrassing or that was bad. But no matter what, I'm lucky that I have such a cool truck, you know, that the fans love it no matter what. And I think they love too that I'm a girl out there just doing it. And it's like I said, it's even better when you do get to beat the boys because it's like, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> so Monster Truck is kind of unique in the idea that like, if you wreck in a monster truck, people are like, yeah. yeah. Whereas, like, if you wreck in, like, you know, motocross or something, it's like, oh man, the, the race is yeah. over. Yeah. So it's kind of opposite in your training. Mm -hmm. How have you adjusted to that? <laughs> um, yeah, you kind of said it perfectly, really. Like, with motocross, like I said, there's no cage. Sometimes if you have a hard crash, like, your season can be over. And, yeah. Your you know, life can be over. Exactly. I mean, you could get a lot of injuries. Like, I literally had, broke my collarbone four months ago and got it plated and everything. And then, so coming to this, it was kind of like, you know, you are in a cage. and. <laughs> are your parents so much happier with you doing this? <laughs> you know, I, they're... They're funny. They love all the stuff that I do. This is why I'm here. Is because my parents just love that I go out and do something that I like to do. But I, you know, my poor mom, my poor mom. She, man, she, as much as she loved cheering us on, I felt bad for her sometimes because she would get so nervous, as any parent would be. Sure. Um, but no, they they definitely kind of know. Like, okay, the the funny saying is, with age comes a cage. <laughs> So here we are. <laughs> I love that. With age comes a cage. Yeah, That's yeah. good because uh, I would not get on a motocross bike, but I will get in this. So. Yes, and you did, and you started it up. So That's it right. Great. Yes, I'm I'm successfully a monster truck yes. driver. <laughs> exactly. Now if we just get you on the floor. Ooh. That's the next step. <laughs> I'm gonna take a couple years off, and maybe you like mentally practice. prep for it. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. I'll live vicariously through you. Yeah. There you now, go. how do you take this bad boy off? Okay. Let's see. Now. It's kind of tricky, so you, oh. would, you would pull these and you just kind of slide it off. Well, I guess that wasn't as tricky uh -huh. as sometimes. You made it look easy. <laughs> I've had some practice at least yes. with that. So yeah, you pretty much pull this, it slides on and off. So everything's pretty secure. Yeah. And I mean, as scary as it looks, it's pretty safe. It's Honestly, it's very safe. Um, I mean, there's times where if you do hit, like if you flip over and you hit the roll cage pretty hard, you definitely feel it. Yeah. I mean, there's been some nights where I walk away with a sore neck and a headache, I'll tell you that. But yeah. um, everything in here is so safe. They go through every safety protocol you can imagine, which takes a long time, hours sometimes, to go through everything. Mm -hmm. um, so, of course, it's their number one priority to be, you know, safety number one. If something doesn't feel right, if you see something, say something. It's it's the, the company does an insane job at obviously making sure that everything is safe and sure and uh and of course we always have the ambulance here too but you know it's it's pretty cool the the amount of shows that you know monster jam can put on and and all the money that goes into the trucks and stuff i mean they really trust the drivers to go out there and and you know as much as it's a monster jam truck that you want to see roll over and crash like you know it's it's fun to see every once in a while but they do trust that we're going to go out there and kind of do it in a in a fun safe, fashion safe, safe way. entertaining way <laughs> yes, yes exactly exactly so all right so i guess we're gonna hop try to hop out yeah i'm actually gonna do you want me to see? yep i'm gonna yep. watch you do it okay from so, this view okay so if you're gonna be here you can put your left foot on this bar right here that you'll see and then you kind of scoot your way down i like to grab the seat sometimes okay and help pop down then watch your head when you come out all right let's do this I'm actually gonna hand this GoPro yeah, to you. Yeah. Now we can get a better look here. Yeah. Alright, now if I fall, this will go on the loop for real, so <laughs> yeah. it's all good. It's, it works out. Alright. Oh, we're gonna go there first. There you go. And that's kind of a reach, yep. There you go. I'm like two inches on you. Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> awesome. Perfect. Thank you so much. That's yeah. awesome. Yes. Woo. I'm officially a monster truck driver. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Do I just press the red again to get it to stop? I know. <laughs>